top secret declassified. Some background information. The books of Daniel and Revelation are like top secret documents that God has so graciously declassified for the benefit of all heaven aspirants, especially those who live in the last days. And every week through this quarter, we will be exploring different aspects. This week, we will be addressing the question of worship. Who gets the job of who to be worshipped in your life and why? Revelation 12 verse 7 to 12 introduces us to the two contenders for our allegiance. God and Satan. Having plotted a failed coup in heaven and with that lost his place in heaven, this dude is mad at God. But since he knows he is no match for God, he has resorted since then to sabotaging God by any means necessary. Misrepresentation, character assassination, but most effective, he has been seducing God's creation to rebel against God and boy, we took the bait. His logic was, since sin is a transgression of God's law, 1 John 3 verse 4, and for this I lost my privileges and got kicked out of heaven, if I can get God's beloved creation, his prized jewels, humanity, to sin, for God to retain his claim of being just, he will either be forced to reinstate me or banish all humanity as well. Smart, right? The only problem is, you could never outsmart God. The created could never be smarter than the creator. God already had a contingency plan to get us home. So what was meant to be a trap became an opportunity for all creation to witness firsthand the true motive and character of the two contenders for our allegiance. While Satan was scheming, God willingly swapped places with us while we were still rebels, fully paid the price for our sins so that we could have a second chance at eternal life. He then makes this gift available to any and everyone who confesses with their mouths and believes in their hearts that God raised Jesus from the grave, regardless of their past. This is the gospel of Revelation 14 verse 6. Again, Jesus wins and Satan loses. So, the real question this week is, who gets the job of who to be worshipped in your life? Put it this way, if you had vacancy for someone to run your company, you will want to vet their credentials, right? I'm guessing their resume will be a great place to start. So, let's do that for these applicants before deciding who gets our allegiance.
Having vetted both resumes, you will agree with me it's a no-brainer. God alone deserves our worship, and I hope you choose him today. Besides being the right choice, why is this so important that it is emphasized in the present truth of Revelation 14 verse 7? Well, when all is said and done, the eternal destiny of all will be decided at the judgment, and the only screening criteria that matters at that time will be allegiance expressed in worship, knowing God and building a relationship with Jesus through worship. Think about it. The God who created and sustains billions of galaxies is the same God not only in whom we live and move and have our being, but also who works in us to give us new hearts. The exact same God who is interested in our well-being and in a personal relationship with us. So, each time we walk away from spending time in devotion and prayer, that's what we're walking away from. Choose right but also commit to intentionally building a relationship with him now while you still can. It is not enough to mentally choose. Commit to knowing daily the God you have chosen. Thanks for watching. I am your Sabbath School Doodle, and I will see you next Sabbath.